Hi, folks, and welcome to another Tool Tip Tuesday. Woohoo! Today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite apps. Um, we're going to talk about WordPress. See, and we're going to talk about it a little bit differently. I got, got two reasons of doing this. I'm going to post something to WordPress as an author so that I can show the people for my story time uh, Saturdays how to actually do that. So what you do is you go over to uh, the whatever that WordPress site is slash login. Okay. Because I have mine my actual personal account actually goes into WordPress login. I can log in with WordPress, but if not, there's a login, there'll be a login screen there. Cool is that uh, you get a whole list of things to do in WordPress and WordPress is a really great uh, customer, um, a content management solution that allows you to really create websites really quickly and really easily. Um, it makes it really helpful uh, if you're not a developer, think, stuff like that. Um, one of the great things is that there's pretty much a program out there to do anything you need to do. Um, and I highly recommend it. Uh, there was a time where I said that you needed to use Joomla for this. Um, it's getting more and more that WordPress does everything that Joomla did and some of it a little bit better and a lot of it a lot easier. So the all right, I'll post. So you see that these are all the different posts that I have. It'll give me some uh, statistics because I have that set up. Uh, the tags that it's going, what uh, category it's in, who actually authored it, all that kind of wonderful stuff. So I'm just gonna add new. All right. And there's all kinds of tips. I don't necessarily need those. And so I'm going to name my post. So because I'm working in the story time Saturday format, uh, this is the next one, the family mystery explain. All righty. So I don't actually have the story done yet. So I'm not going to actually do that. So we're going to talk about that a little bit later. Um, I could start typing right here. I can add a picture, um, all kinds of images, quotes. Um, I can um, put in, I can embed an audio file. I can upload an audio file or a video. I can embed that. A lot of times it, you're going to have to embed because of the um, amount of space that you can actually upload. Um, so, you can add code. Um, so if you were actually writing code um, and wanted to show somebody how to do that, that'd be good. Custom HM, HTML, a lot of times will have you, in, uh, how you have to embed things. You can create tables, pull quotes, all kinds of great things that you could do. All right, so what one of the things I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna change my publish because I'm not gonna publish that immediately. I want this to actually go live on Saturday morning, right? And I got to do it at 8 a.m. because that's what time I said that these go live. Okay, so now I don't have, now I know that it's not going to be there until 8 a.m. The next thing I want to do is I want to set my featured image, okay? And this is the image that's going to show when you do things and um, when you go and you post to the social media, it's the thing that shows on the front page. And so we're going to select that file. I can select it or I can drag and drop it from my computer. Uh, sometimes that's easier. Sometimes it's not. Uh, and I have a ton of files. So let me. I should have had it open already. I apologize. So if I, if I created that, I don't want to necessarily caption anything because I don't want it to show a caption. My alternate text would be a family mystery. And you kind of want to, um, 
you might want to put in some, even in the alternate text, you might want to put it there, but it, especially in the description, you want to actually put in some um, important keywords. So for this is, um, I want to make sure I talk about authors. And I'm just typing in um, different things that I want to make sure story time, story time, Saturday. Um, so I'm going to select that. You see it shows up here. Okay, and so I just want to put something in there. So I'm going to preview this real quick. So on my site, this looks just like this. And I have some things that are set up. Um, I have a couple widgets. So I have my author widget. And it will actually tell you the author stuff all shows up automatically. It shows the authors on this page. Um, it will also, um, you're seeing my thing. And then if you go to the home page, uh, actually, you know, you don't you want to go to the stories page on this one. This is my actual homepage, the true awesome life.com. If you haven't been there in a while, please stop in, pick up the book. It's amazing. But as you see, this is the one for last week is strange request at a panel bar. If you click on there, you can actually read the story. People can comment on the story. They can also show the post, things of that nature. Uh, you see about me and all the different things that you need to know. So that's how to actually post onto a WordPress site if you are an author. Um, I am more than happy to help you set up your WordPress site, give me a message. And if you haven't, like I said, if you have not been to trueawesomelife.com and picked up your 10 mini reboots, please do that today. You are loved. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Sometimes we all need a reboot. Go to trueawesomelife.com to get your free copy of 10 mini reboots by J.P. Atkins. And remember, you are loved.